Hey there, if you missed our lesson today on CH and TH, this video is for you to see that what we went over um, because we are going to be moving on the next time that we have Zoom. So again, if you missed a uh, Zoom group with me this morning, we are going to be reviewing the digraph CH and the digraph TH. So um, if you haven't started with this, go ahead and find the letter keyword sound video so you can go over all the letters before we get into that. Um, it should be in your class dojo. The first one is CH and these two letters when they're together make the CH, ch sound like chin. Okay, so we have CH, CH, CHIN, CH. Your turn to repeat that. CH, CHIN, CH. Great. So I hope that you repeated it with me. Uh, what that means is when we put it together um, with letters that we already know, we have ch, ah, p. So even though there's four letters, there's still three sounds ch, op, chop. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and erase one of those letters. Now we have ch, ip, chip. Let me erase another one. Now we have ch, i, n, chin. Good. Um, it makes the same sound when it's at the end of a word. So if I had something like this. Again, that CH makes one new sound, so we would have R, I, CH, RICH, R, I, CH, okay? If I were to change the beginning letters to S and U, I would have S, A, CH, okay? So we want to make sure that we're sticking these together um, and we're, that they're a team. Okay, we don't say s a k h, we say s a ch, one sound. Okay, so that's the first one. Um, if you need the paper or a list of words to review, you can go ahead and have your parents message me and I will email that over to you guys to practice. The next digraph that we went over was TH. TH, I say think, some people say thumb, um, depends on whose group you are in. I say TH, think. So, and I use my thumb to point to my head, so I feel like that's a little bit more helpful. TH, think. So, this one's kind of tricky because if it's at the beginning of a word, it's a very quick th. If it's at the end of the word, it's kind of more dragged out with. Okay, but either way, your tongue should be between your teeth and you should be blowing out air. So if I have the name, and it's important that I say its name because I use a capital letter. If I have the name B E kind of lingers a little bit more. B E Beth. I also could change lowercase because it's not in there to b a bath. So those two are still stuck together. They still make one sound b a bath. And one more we could do m a math. Okay. If it's at the beginning, same thing. We have th at the beginning, but it's still one sound that's coming out of your mouth. I, n, thin. Okay. So in, thin. I could also do uh, 
a d thud and that is the noise something makes when you bump into it thud 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 this one i'm going to include a digraph at the end as well so we have i Even though there are five letters, there are still only three sounds because these two team up. We have the vowel and then these two letters team up, okay? So thick, thick, which is why it's really important for you to go over the video where I go over our letters and digraphs because it's a nice reminder that we don't say th, ik, k, we say ik, one sound. Okay, so that was what we reviewed today. I'm going to go ahead and show you one of the pages from our workbooks um, with the sentences just so you can, if you need to, um, pause it right now so you can kind of go over some of these words and then I will go over them with, the in, with you in a second. So here are the words that we went over. You'll notice that the top are the CH words and the bottom are the th words and then in the sentences they're both mixed together so for example here i have and i'm kind of peeking so i can see d id did b eth beth ch op chop the l og log but that's not really how we want to read the sentence even though i read everything correctly it was very choppy and it's hard to understand what i was trying to say so once you have all the words, we want to practice on our scooping. So we have did Beth chop the log. Okay. And once you practice that a couple more times, you can scoop even more letters. Did Beth chop the log? Did Beth chop the log? Okay. So again, if you need to pause it so you can read uh, the words by yourself or you always can send me a message on Class Dojo to let me know that you need access to the list. I can email it or take a picture and post it for you. So that's what we went over today. Um, we are going to be getting into QU and WH in the next um, session that we have, and I'll also be posting a review for that. Um, so make sure that you are attending, check your Class Dojo for your times, and I look forward to seeing you guys. Keep practicing.